Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I haven't been posting much and I'm really sorry about that. And I've been doing a lot of golfing in my free time. So Bing and I have decided to set up the ring light here. This is my very first video ever with this ring light. And Bing and I are going to go through our golf bags and tell you what clubs we have in our bag right now because it's Wednesday. Therefore, it's what's in the bag Wednesday. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with what club should we start with? Should we go low to high or big big low boy? To high. Low to high? Alright. I'm gonna start with our putters then. Low to high. Um I've got a nice little leather tailor-made cover for my putter here. And I have the tailor-made TP Mullen. It's got a nice bronze finish on the bottom, and on the top it's a black finish. It says TP on the back and it has a tailor-made super stroke grip. It's the pistol grip. So, yeah, very nice club. Just got this one, it's fresh. This, Bing, uh, has- I have a putter. My old I'm putter. It is. It's called the- uh, Ping. Super stroke, thick as hell. Yep, show them the, the actual putter now. It's uh, the Ping, say it, it a Yeah, I don't know what it's called, dog. Uh, it just says Ping. It says ping. It's got the ping symbol on the front. Oh, okay. All right, so those are our small sticks. Putters. This is the, I mean, the putter is the most important club in the bag, really. It really is. It's the most important club because it's where you make your strokes. All right, let's go to wedges. Bang, what wedge do you have? Four. What? Four. Bang, we're doing wedges. Plus there is a wedge. All right, so I have three wedges in my bag, and they are all uh, Callaway Mac Daddy 5. What are wedges? Wedges are the next one. The next one up. Wedge, W. Bing also has a ping, a ping wedge. I have the Callaway Mac Daddy 5. They have blue grips. I've got two, bra two uh, silver finishes and then one uh, 56 degree. Uh, dark finish. However, uh, the the two that are silver are 48 degrees and 52 degrees, and then my 56 degree is the uh, dark finish. It says Jaws on there. It's awesome. It is my favorite. I have uh, the Ping R2 uh, wedge. I don't. It's old. Very old. Still works though, right? Alright, now we'll just to talk about the irons, we'll take one iron out, and then you can show your four iron because you have a different four iron. Okay. okay. So I'll, I'll grab my eight iron, or since it's right in the middle, um, I'll grab my eight and my seven, just because I have speed pockets on the bottom. I think I said the four iron after you do your irons. Four iron. That's Bing's Jack Nicholas four iron. Who's that? Who's Jack Nicholas? I don't play golf. Jack Nicholas is the greatest golfer of all time, if you I, were confused. I, I, I have the tailor-made M2 irons. Uh, I just got these off Amazon. I did a review Nicholson here on my page. That's Jack Nicholson. Oh. Wait. Is it? Let me know if I'm right or Nicholas wrong. Nicholas Cage? Yeah, that guy too. So this is the 8 iron, and as you can see, it's just a normal silver bottom. Uh, in comparison to my 7 iron, the 7 iron has a speed pocket on the bottom. So normal 8 through pitching wedge. Eight through pitching wedge, it just has the normal steel bottom, and then seven iron through four iron has the speed pocket on the bottom. Um, but normal looking face, M2, yeah. Here's my favorite club in my bag. Yeah, there you go. The uh, pitching wedge. It's all dirty, you can tell I use it a lot. Focus, focus. Yeah, whatever. You, he has, he has Titleist. Yeah, you get the idea. He has Titleist irons, so. I don't know what you're talking about, how they're bad irons. I mean, uh, Titleist is arguably the most storied, historic, prestigious golf brand of all time. Okay, then. All right, let's go to our, our hybrids. You can do your five wood. I don't, I don't have a three wood, so I just have a five. And we don't really talk about it. This is my Just look at hybrid. it. It's, it's pure metal. It's pure metal. You could, it's... you could kill a full family with this thing. <laughs> 
This is my Cobra hybrid. It's like a rescue. Um, it's the silver Cobra amp cell. It's got a nice top to it. It looks cool. I don't know. I think it's in... This thing looks like it was created during the freaking Civil War. I don't even know what degree this is in right now. But it's got a nice golf pride grip. Stiff shaft. I love the shaft because it has all kinds of, like, you know, coloring on it. It looks dope. But, yeah. Cobra Stiff Flex 58 grams mid kick, mid torque. So, typical stuff, I guess. All right. Uh, you gotta wait for me to do my three real quick. This is just a, a precursor to the big boy driver that I have. This is the tailor made RBZ Rocket Balls driver. This is the stage one, it's got the white top. I have it uh, in, I don't even know what degrees it's in. It's a three wood though, probably 15 degrees, I would assume. Uh, regular flex shaft, uh, rocket fuel shaft. I don't know, it just says RBZ. First original tailor-made grip, super easy stuff. Uh, good club, can send it super far. All right, here's Spring my tailor-made RBZ driver. Probably the best club I have in my bag. Uh, it's, here we go. It says rocket fuel on it, rocket fuel plus 50, tailor-made, and uh, the head cover. Made. Bing and I both have tailor-made RBZ drivers. So I have a white top. He has a... I have a black, black top. top. Yeah. Different finish. Black Mine's a stage two. My driver and my three wood are the oldest clubs in my bag. They came out back in like, yeah, this is a nice I want to say 2013, 2012. So, and this has a regular flex in it too. Same rocket fuel shaft as Bing's. Um, so the next time... I buy golf clubs. I've gotten a lot of new clubs recently, but the next club that I'm going to get is going to be a driver and a three wood because the shaft in these just doesn't fit me anymore. I'm swinging too fast for a regular flex. So yeah, that's the RBZ stage two driver. It's still a great driver. I mean, it looks great behind the ball. I'm pretty sure it's 460 CC head size. I have it in 10.5 degrees loft. And I've kept it in pretty good shape over the years because I'm pretty sure I bought this club brand new when it first came out. When it first came out, it retailed for like 400 bucks. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a big old bomb sender. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. I guess we should probably show them our actual bags, too. No. Nah. Bing just got this one. Uh... He just got this uh, this this black carrying bag where you can set it down and it's just straight up black. Yeah. It's got my towel on it and my uh, cleaner. Basically. I have a tailor-made bag with a Trapper's Turn towel. That's a course down in Wisconsin Dells. If you guys have ever heard of it, um, I have the Go 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 Range Finder. I got this for like 80 bucks on Amazon. It's super cool, it has a slope mode. Super cheap for a rangefinder that has a slope mode, so I would recommend you checking that out on Amazon if you can. Um, oh, and my shoes too. I'm gonna show you guys my shoes. Because I'm a TaylorMade geek, <clears throat> TaylorMade has uh, ties with Adidas, obviously three stripes. You can see the Adidas shoes, they're black. I see Adidas on the top there, there's Adi Cross. I bought these back in high school. And because they just have the regular pegs on the bottom, I've just been using them for forever. And when you shift left, when you're striking the golf ball, when you're making a swing, it wears down on the left side of the shoe and you can actually see the wear on the shoe. You can't see it because of the ring light, but it's pretty cool. It shows me that I'm doing the right thing in my swing. So yeah, those are my shoes. And that is my golf bag. I usually play, what golf balls do you like the best, Bing? Titleist. Titleist. The golf balls that I use are Titleist Pro V1s, uh, TaylorMades, of course, and uh, Bridgestone, because, you know, Tiger. Sometimes I play Nike, but I haven't been playing Nike as often. Um, let's see what my... I also tried some Vice balls the other day for the first time. These right here, they say Vice on them. It's uh, the kind of ball that Eric Anders Lang plays. He's a golf YouTuber that I like to watch. So if you ever get the chance, check him out. But yeah, it's uh, pretty cool.
pretty cool stuff. So that was our what's in the bag. Bing, why don't you get in the frame so we can say goodbye. I don't know if I like the ring light because I like need to like lean down so you guys. You can change the height up. That was easy. Well, it's also slanted now, you freaking. Oh, there we go. Oh, what are you doing? Stop it. No, it's fine. It's so We're right at 10 minutes. This is the perfect point to end the video. <laughs> we get money for it. All right. It's Wednesday. We have three days to the KSI Logan. I mean, David Utrey, Bailey Harper fight. This and kid's going to lose like Logan Paul. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we're yoked. I think we're ready. I think my bicep to wrist ratio is massive. Let's see here. Let's, if I throw this ball up and the vice lands on my side up, I'm going to win the fight. It didn't land on my He's dead. Up. I'm going to lose. All right, I'll see you in the next one. The next video on my channel is probably going to be the fight. Unless I figure out some sort of content to make until Saturday. So, See you guys in the next one. Wish me luck. Keep swinging hard.